Design school does two main simple things. We teach people how to run and then we teach them how to run faster. Okay, so Katie, what we're going to do is we're going to video you from two angles just to look at how you're running and how you're moving. So we're going to go at your uh, race pace, at your own pace, we're not going to go any faster. Um, and then we're going to do a movement test as well just to see, verify certain things and then we'll go through it together on the laptop. Running is not something that people teach as a skill, but it's a skill and we don't teach it at schools, we don't teach it when we go to learn how to run. And if you run efficiently, you can save a lot of time and you can also prevent injuries. Okay, I'm just going to slow you down slightly to a walking pace, okay? Yep. Good work. And that's the pace that you normally run at, at yeah? Moment, yeah? At the moment, Spot okay. Okay. Every time you're landing, you're braking. So you're landing, braking, and we'll see that from the side, okay? And then stopping and then coming up again. So if we look at that, as you land on the centre of gravity, which is in the centre here, yep. you should be cycling the heel up, okay, coming down, yep. and landing underneath that's your centre of gravity. And depending on your speed, it, it, it the height of the heel varies. But if you look at the height of your heel, it's hardly coming up. Okay, it's not even 90 degrees. Okay.